Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and in this video, I want to address two common causes of problems binding your receiver with your transmitter. So here we have the FlySky FSIA6 receiver, and this also applies to the IA6B or pretty much any type of receiver that has a servo pin type of setting right here. Now I have a video about how to actually bind this receiver as well as other receivers, so go check that out if you're just trying to figure out how to bind it. But while you're binding, what you need to remember to do, let's say we, we put our binding plug right in here, which is just a, a wire that, that connects the two outer pins right there. And then what you need to remember to do is put your bind plug in first and then power on your ESC, which is what we have hooked up. So if, this would be like if we're going to be uh, connecting to an airplane type RC model. And then we turn on our transmitter here where we have it already on the right profile, the correct profile. And so we're going to press down the bind key and we're going to turn it on and it says binding OK, RX binding. And then what we need to remember to do is to actually remove the binding plug uh, before we take the power away from the receiver. So you can see right now we have a slow flashing red. And then you'll see once we take the bind plug out of here, you see it changed over to a steady red. And now we actually have the RX battery showing up right here. So that means that we, we are actually talking to the receiver or the receivers talking to the transmitter. Another possible issue that you might have is that you're not getting you're not able to bind because your transmitter is actually too close to the receiver. Now I have not actually experienced this with, with any of my FlySky stuff, but I know that this I have have had this happen before on other brands. So if this does happen to you, maybe uh, move the transmitter a few feet away so that you can potentially get a better signal and get a good connection um, to actually bind your receiver. Hopefully these troubleshooting tips helped you. If you have any other questions or you have issues with this kind of stuff, because I know it can be very difficult if you're just getting into the RC stuff to understand it all, leave me a comment and hopefully I or someone else may be able to help you. If this was helpful to you, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.